today we are going to demonstrate how to set up the R75 Rhino ground blind and first of all you can see it's came in this convenient backpack I have other things in here other than just the blind itself so it's a convenient way to be able to carry your accessories <clears throat> and move into the woods and get everything set up and not have to make two or three trips so the backpack on this thing is great guys let's get started Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep out these leaves and get these back out of my way. That way I can be a little more quieter once I get into the blind. So you can do that however you choose to. I'm just going to kick this stuff back out of the way. It's a little chilly out here this morning. The main thing on the leaves is about the space you think you're going to set your blind up at and that way you're not sitting in here and making a bunch of noise. One nice thing about this blind guys is it takes very little preparation and it really is convenient. All right that should probably do it for us. This backpack that this comes in is really convenient because you have a pocket here for your stakes or anything else you choose to put in there. And I have brought along with me my little camp light, just in case I have a low light situation. My fold out hunting chair. And then down to the blind. Down the bottom here, we get the blind out. Also included is these are the uh, flexible tent stakes that will hold the top up open for us. We're going to need those. And also in your package, you're going to have these camouflage window covers. Uh, for photography, this is perfect. It really does give you a lot of seclusion in there, and the animals almost have no chance of seeing you. But again, that's in our backpack, along with the tent stakes. So we can set this off to the side. This thing is really easy to set up. Get everything out of our way here. Okay, now, we're going to start. This is in a pancake form. The uh, material inside here is spring steel. So when I open this thing up, it's going to go ahead and stand itself up, and then we're just simply going to spread it out and put our tent stakes, our, uh, our uh, canopy top stakes in. So it comes open pretty quick, okay? So now we've got this guy to this position. We're simply going to fold it out again. Sides apart. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, we're basically deployed here. All right. I'm just kind of square everything up. Now this thing is weighing about 11 and a half pounds. Like I said, I brought in some other accessories with me inside of my backpack here. So that'll give you an idea of what you're going to carry in and carry out. All right, there's one. Now there's little keepers in there that this will slide into. That way you can get your top popped up there. And it gives you a little more standing room. Okay, it's about like that. Get this guy popped 
stuff here. All right. Now at this point, you pull your corners out and use your tag lines and put your tent stakes in. About a, a five to ten minute setup here, guys, and you're you're ready to climb inside. Now that's another convenient feature on this. Every window inside this tent can be uh, zipped from the outside or inside. That way you can set your gear in. Now we're completely inside the blind. Now this is tight in here. If you have two people in here, I'd say that'd be the max. Now one nice thing about this, you can unzip these windows at any level you choose to. So again, you can aim through here and get the shot that you're looking for. You can set your camera right up through the available opening there. Once you get set, you do have enough space to do what you need to do. Now these little mesh windows that they have sent along with this, as you can see, they've got a uh, tab sewed in here that you can clip these on. And then as you zip the window up, that gives you a nice camouflage screen. And again, you can fasten it to the bottom here as well. But as you're sitting in here, that gives you a nice uh, camouflage away from the window itself and all the light coming in. Works as a good diffuser as well. It really is hard for the animals to see in here. And if you're quiet, you can get as close to them as you choose to. It looks good sitting in the woods. And that window's completely open. Now one thing that bears mentioning, this is not 100% waterproof. So if you was going to leave your gear inside, make sure that you're aware of that because it will drip down along these seams. And also as you're setting inside of it, if it's closed up, you will condensate moisture into it and it can drip down on your equipment as well. And another thing, you may want to bring a secondary tarp to lay down so you can actually set this upon it. That way you're not, you know, setting in the dirt and different things like that as far as your gear is concerned. Now another feature I really like is this rolled spring steel they have in here. And that's what allows this tent to pop itself open is this rolled steel right here. And it goes all the way around all four corners of the tent. And it really does make for a simple application in order to pop the tent up and then as well as putting it uh, back to where we need to get it into the backpack. So there we have it guys. A pretty good review of the R75 Rhino ground line. Uh, again, right now I was seeing them online for under $70 and it, it's going to do a pretty good job for you in my opinion. I'm, I mean, you know, uh, I'm telling you what I know about it now. So, but uh, <clears throat> now folding this thing up is just a little bit different and we're going to put it right back in the backpack and it, uh, it really does get in there pretty easy. I'm just simply going to fold these back up and get them ready to go back into the backpack. We are going to zip our front door back up as well as all the windows. Now I always keep these little uh, camouflage meshes together, that way they all stay in the bag the same. Okay. Then make sure you've removed all your tent stakes. All right. so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this girl up and get it back to a flat shape here. Okay, just that easy. 
and you can see behind me, we've got, got it folded up, and then I'm simply going to bring it right in like that. Okay, so now we are all together here. I'm going to fold this right into a taco. Try to keep your edges folded in if you can. It just simply makes it easier to put it away. Then we're going to twist. We're going to grab this bottom corner and just twist it right into its shape. So we went from taco to pancake and now we're ready to go back in the backpack. Okay, and that twisting motion as you're laying it down from taco to pancake will turn this right back into this circle for you and now you're ready for your bag. Now I always put the tip back in the bag first. Makes it a little bit easier to store. Now these test stakes, make sure they're kind of laying down in here long ways. That way you don't have them trying to poke through the bottom of your bag. And then like I said, I brought along my camp light. And get our folding chair in there. Okay. You can cinch it up. I'm looking at just just over 12 pounds here because I added the light and I added the uh, folding chair. But uh, coming in out of the box for the, the hunting blind, it's 11 and a half pounds. So that'll give you an idea of what you're going to have to carry back and forth, uh, including the rest of your gear. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I really hope it's helped you in some way. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.